Puck is set to drop on this hockey ultimate team matchup this evening. James Cebalski, Ray Ferraro set to bring you all the action. Been fired up for this one. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Quick feed to Coffee. The Kittens gain control of the puck against the wall. Across the line from center. Quick shot, and he makes the save. And now he tries to get it across to Blake. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Good hit on the play. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. And now it's grabbed by Jones. Moves it to Hall. Sends the pass over. To his teammate. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Stick save. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. Ovechkin's lugging the puck. Big time hit in the open ice. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Detroit's ready to go on the attack. And he denied that opportunity. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Takes the feed. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Puck picked up by Kucherov. Dished on over to Andrichuk. The Kittens carried along the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And it's kicked away. Quick pass to Ovechkin. Nice pass. Ajo's got it to the side. The Kittens have it behind the net. Kucherov's carrying it ahead. Here's a shot. Big time glove save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Hedman's moving the puck through his own zone. Passes it over to McKinnon. Receives the pass. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Not able to connect. Icing the call and no chance for these skaters to get a breather here. Every once in a while you get burned with your weakest face-off man on the ice. Calling him out. Did he ever? This is this is gonna get heated. Detroit's got it, and here we go. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. As always, the guys are up banging their sticks on the board. A little more energy from the visiting team as their guy won the decision. You can see the shoulders just hanging a little bit lower here on the bench. And he stands tall in goal. The Kittens gain possession along the wall. Moves it over to Rantanen. Comes up with the steal. The Kittens have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Here's a short pass to Pasternak. On the attack along the boards. Passes the puck over to Chara. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Stopped by the goaltender. More than half the period has expired. The game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Grabbed along the boards by Chelios. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. Big time stop there. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. That one got out of here in a hurry as the official stopped the play. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Loses his balance on the play. Taken along the wall by Niedermeyer. 
Good defensive stop with the poke check. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Answers it with an even better save. The Kittens have it now. Oh, the defender has none of that. Yeah, he's in great position there to stymie that attempt. No one home on that play. Here they are on the attack. Slides it across. He scores! One times it into the back of the net. The Kittens with a deflating goal for their opposition here late. Well, the game has been so tight, I don't know how anybody could feel out of this. Even though it's a one-goal lead, it's still nothing that feels comfortable. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. 17 minutes, three seconds. Branton, it's going off for interference. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it lumping. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Played big in the moment there. The Kittens played along the boards. Gloves save. Quick reflexes. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Kittens lead it 1-0. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Gretzky. Slides the puck to St. Louis. Clears some space through center. I like that play. He saw a little opening, bounces it to himself off the boards. Quick feed to Hall. Detroit's on the attack. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Right in the low slot. And another stop. Smothered that in close chance. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Just five seconds. Tees it up. Stops him cold. There's the horn ending the period. I think the goaltender's breathing a huge sigh of relief as the clock turned out to be his best friend. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Both goaltenders have looked really confident so far. They've been sharp. They've made really good stops. There's just one goal in the game. Puts it on that. Turned aside with the glove. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Matthews. Slides it across to McDavid. The Kittens gain possession in their own end. Slides the puck over. From the slot, wrist shot, scores! Oh, this is bad luck, James. He stops the puck, but he can't find it. And as he's looking for it, he ends up pushing it in the net. Oh, he's got to be sick about that. He puts it into his own net. Already hard enough, and now he makes it worse for himself. The Kittens have gone up by two here in this second period. Really like the way they've gone about their business. They haven't lost any of their aggressiveness. They've still stayed and tried to forecheck. I like it, and they've deserved this two-goal lead. They fight for it along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. And that carries off a stick. Ovechkin stick handling in his own zone. Up along the wing. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Oh, comes up with a stop. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck grabbed by Kane. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Scooped up along the wall by Pronger. Pass back to the point. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. All alone! Big time save! Advantage goalie on this one. Sometimes the goalie takes the advantage by keeping really still. Don't make the first move. He did it perfectly. Stop that one. And tries oh, to make man. a diagonal pass to Ovechkin. Sorry, James. That sounded big. I have to tell you, that was a large hit. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Detroit's on the attack. Gains the zone from the right side. Rocks him on the play. Quick pass to Stamkos. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. 
Feeds it on over to McKinnon. Here's a short pass to Matthews. From the point, looks to make something happen. The Kittens will play it in their own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's the pass. Scores! Steven Stamkos. Nice. The Kittens are back to center, and here in this second period, it's getting out of hand. They've been doing this a lot. Score, go back to center. I guess it's better than being the other way around. Number 91, Steven Stamkos. Picked up along the boards by Hedman. Slides into Kucherov. Oh, what a play! I like it, James. He can't be held up once he gets rid of the puck. He gets it on the other side. Moves it up. He got all of that one. Here's a chance right in the slot. Turns it away. Detroit's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. And he says no! And that one's broken up. Great block there. Denies him again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Moves it quickly over to Pasternak. Tries to get it to Couturier. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. On the doorstep. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. They've got numbers. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, what a stop. Pronger's going to have to dig into the energy tank a little bit here. You lose a lot of energy in a fight, and even though he had five minutes to sit down. Tempers flaring. Yeah, a little bump together, a little friction. Looks like the guys want to get it going. And here we go. Sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Well, a lot of John back and forth here. Is there ever? I mean, the guys look like they're pretty agitated. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. It's go time. Well, the crowd's right back into this one after a pretty spirited tilt just moments ago. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Pasternak. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Detroit's had a lot of good looks offensively, but they have run into one hot goaltender, which is why they trail late in this second. Anderchuk's one possession. Barzell's got the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Gretzky's called for tripping. He's off to the box. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Gets it back. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Ray, it looks like tripping. It's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty, but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. What just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. The Kittens have been served up with a two-minute penalty for charging. Pretty good call here, James. Agreed. He just traveled a little bit too far to deliver the hit. Penalty to number 77, Victor Hedman. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. The kitten scooping up along the boards. Looking to set up offensively. Quick snap. Nice save from point blank range. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. 
And a successful clearing attempt. And the middle frame almost done. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Late goings of this period, the Kittens are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Barzell's won the draw. Picked up along the wall by Niedermeyer. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Detroit's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. Lemieux won the draw. And he slides it quickly to Gretzky. Centering pass! And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. And there's the whistle stop. Some pushing and shoving here, heating up. Yeah, the few words lead to a little bit more, it looks like. And the challenge is accepted. Jill Levesque to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James. It's amazing how the energy in the building can seep. And a challenge being thrown down here. Yeah, that came out of nowhere a little bit, and the challenge is down. Offense crowd on their feet as they drop the gloves. Of that spirited boat. That boat was an old fashioned punch in the face contest, and I don't think the home side liked the results very much. The Kittens win the draw, and he easily stops that one. Another stop by the goaltender. Dead center, excellent save. Another save. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. Detroit's power play gets back to work here as we are underway in the period, they win the draw. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Battling for it along the boards. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. The Kittens looking against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Still plenty of time left in this frame. And the ice has been tilted to this point. 3-0 is where we sit right now. Puck sent over to Rantanen. Slides it across to Niedermeyer. And now he angles it across to Matthews. And sends it just out of reach. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Quick feed to McDavid. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Made the stop on that play. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Detroit's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they cannot convert trailing early in the third. And he coughs it up with the pass. Taken by Matthews. Denied that one. And it's a quick pass to Jones. Move to the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. The setters will glide into the dot. McDavid's won a big draw in their own end. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And makes the save. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Gretzky. Quick pass across to McDavid. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him with the save. And now he moves it to Ekblad. What a stop! Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. 
Looking for space inside the D zone. Moves it over to Gretzky and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Pushes it across to Hall. Delayed penalty looming. Big save. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Hedman's getting handed a game misconduct here. Uh, certainly no way to come back from this. The officials made his decision. And you got to chew on this as you skate by your teammates and out of the rink. You almost wonder if there could be further supplemental discipline based on that. Scores on the power play. Clinical stuff out there. They had worked on the power play at the morning skate today. They were able to take that forward into a power play goal here tonight. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. The Kittens will kill off a few extra seconds now. Six minutes, 40 seconds. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Slides the pass over to Matthews. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Moves it to Niedermeyer. Stopped by the goaltender. He's on it. Good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Red Wings are still trailing by two. Matthews wins the draw on their own end. Quick pass to McDavid. Detroit's got the puck against the boards. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. The Kittens have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. It's funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck, and then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. Kind of stuck. Oh, what a heads up play to poke it away. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. Takes the feet in a whole lot of trouble. Stamkos moves the puck. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Hall. The Kittens gain possession of the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Brilliant save, read it perfectly. Great poke check on the reach. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lemieux. Intercepts the pass at center. Branton has got it in the offensive zone. Skaters go off for a line change here on this power play. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. More than half the frame has been played here. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. Nice job tying up his opponent. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Here's a shot and makes the save. Detroit's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Made the save on the play. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. The Kittens move the puck in the defensive zone. Major penalty expires as they minimize the damage, allowing just the one goal. He scores! Off the crossbar and in! a terrific delivery. Beats a goaltender up high. Gets a lucky break, though. It hits the crossbar and bounces into the net. The Kittens are in cruise control here, but they're showing no signs of letting up. No, the lesson began about two hours ago, and it's not class out yet. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. The Kittens get a hold of the puck along the boards. And they fail to go tape to tape. Here they come on the attack. Quick feed to Ajo. The Red Wings played along the wing. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Now a quick pass to Ajo. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Gets in front of it. The Kittens take it along the wall. Moves it to Ajo. He got all of that hit. Misses. That's a little bit of panic. The puck is on his stick. He's in the middle of the ice, and he misses the net. The Kittens take possession here in the open ice. And now it's over to Rantanen. Can't connect. The Kittens have it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Knocked around, but keeps it going. 
Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. The Kittens take possession in the defensive end. And we've got a two-on-one. Shuts him down. Ajo's got it in the defensive end. Feeds it to Coffey. Detroit's got it into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Pasternak. And he blocks that one. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. That opportunity is rejected. Penalty coming up here. A little too, little too late. And I'm sure some people in this building would have wished the clock would have just run out. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself in a bad spot, the player falls down, now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. A chance on the redirect! And somehow, some way, he comes up with a stop with his glove. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Through center along the wing. From the slot, wrist shot to him in front. Rips it. Big stop by the keeper. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. The Red Wings need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Matthews has it in their own end. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change. Puts it in, and it's a short-handed goal! I wasn't expecting that, James. It didn't seem like they were going to be aggressive enough to get it, but there's a turnover and a quick play, and the short-handed goal is in. Now they're going to look at this on video and not be very happy with it. They turned the puck over, and now the odd man rush develops. They can't get back to stop it. The centermen glide into position. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Taken along the wall by Jones. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Oh, the officials saw that trip and the hand is up. Here comes the call. Tripping is the call that he's seller or is that the right one in your mind? No, I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Quick pass to Pronger. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Well, they didn't spend a lot of time with the puck, but when they did, they made the most of it tonight, didn't they? It's tough to bring up your possession time if you go into the zone and score right away. I, they just dominated this game even though they didn't have the puck a lot.